So I want your opinion. That's what this video is about. I'm going to give you mine. You don't give me no opinion till soon in the comment section below. And I'm just going to go with my own opinion on this. So I picked up a Gaveston guitar. Yep, that's what this guy is. And it's a fine V. I was going to do a how to paint a guitar video. Because I do a lot of painting and how to stuff on this channel. So I said why not go with a guitar. I used to build guitars a long time ago. Something you might not know about me. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those things I, I wanted to do for you guys. And, uh, my buddy had a guitar, and he said, James, you got any gaming stuff? Well, of course I had some gaming stuff. He's interested in, he had a guitar, a good project for the channel. But, once I sing it, I don't know if I'm going to paint it. Now, this is why I don't want to paint it. It's fully acrylic fun B. I ain't never played a fully acrylic guitar. Don't know what it sound like, but if you know anything about guitars, well, some people might not know this. That affects sound a lot. The type of wood, the type of body, you know, uh, the type of neck you got. It, it affects sound. The pickups, a lot goes into it. But, uh, a good solid body usually gives you those higher tones so this does have one hell of a solid body that is probably one of the reasons why it has such a light neck to compensate the tones because uh, usually when you build a guitar most people don't go into that but if you got a heavy sounding body you usually go with a lot of sound in there you got a lot of sound in uh body you know a, a heavier sound in there you go with a more of an ash type body or you can if you want to build that screaming guitar you can go with a solid body with a just the higher end guitars and custom order guitars a lot of people goes into that it's common hobbyist no it's got two pickups it's got the normal you know you would expect from a guitar in this price range uh the nut on it turn it around it's pretty pretty close to what needs to be on the string height but as you get on down yeah uh it needs some work with the neck now you can take a custom guitar, you can take one of them cheap guitar kits, upgrade it a little bit, work on the neck some and have a great sounding guitar. Most of the trouble with most guitars is in the neck. You can hate on it all you want to. It's just what I found out. Uh, the pickups do have a little bit due to it. But most of your sound is either in your neck or these have been painted on your cheap guitar and is not grounded. The way they need to be because they paint the whole thing you need to take them off and sand them it makes a world of difference i'm rambling on about guitars but i ain't never played a fully acrylic guitar and i won't be today because i ain't got no strings this is just got tree but uh yeah i was gonna do a paint video but instead of a paint video guys how about we restore this guitar maybe give it a few upgrades or just restore it with what we got no upgrades. You can let me know in comments what you think. And if I don't get enough of your opinions, I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to take this guitar apart. Do a little bit of upgrading to it. A few little modifications. All on the video. So you all can follow along, you know, on the channel. I'm going to take this acrylic body. I'm going to sand it. I'm going to polish it. All these scratches that you see in it, we're going to take those out. We are going to take and uh, straighten this neck. Fix all that problem though. That neck's got a bow in it. Easy fix. And uh, maybe upgrade these two while we at it probably get some cheap fender ones uh 
online, somebody upgraded, so on. Online market, good place to go, especially for used parts. For guitars. All in all, let me know what you think. Good idea? Should I, or should I say, hell with it? Paint this a crude guitar? Or should I just restore it? With the parts we got, or should we restore it and make it better than it did from the factory? Now, I do not know the value of this guitar. I don't know if it's worth $100. I don't know if it's worth $500. I don't know if it's worth more. I really don't care what this guitar is worth because I did not get it to sell. I got it for, to restore or to paint and give you guys a video and try to help you out if you're trying to do something on your own and you might can find it helpful. That's more of a value to me than what the guitar is worth. Is helping you guys and giving you guys content. But this is it. Get a good thumbnail because that's what's coming in the future. So we got we got chip here we need to fix. Easy. I ain't worried about none of that. Like I said, I used to build guitars. And if you guys enjoy our content, I will we finish you a guitar. You know? Uh strat maybe. Um you know, eight tons of guitars out there we can refinish and paint. And we can just restore this and, and hang it up in the studio over there. Because I got a dedicated little place here which will fit two fine bees perfect. I done checked with this one. So that means we can actually fix this fine bee. And we can get another fine bee that's maybe got a little bit longer V shape to it. And restore here too. Or build one. Yeah. But I'm thinking about just restoring this and giving a few upgrades, teaching you guys how to do a few little upgrades on your guitar, how to straighten your neck, yourself at home, how to get it sounding great, how to polish your acrylic guitar. That's probably a thing that probably not many people got, and if you come across one of these in a pawn shop or something, it's probably going to be scratched up out of hell like this one. Well, this one ain't too bad, but, uh, you know, probably something you, you might want to know how to do so comment section let me know your thoughts what you think maybe i'm just overthinking but yeah thank you for watching be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new appreciate it. if you do show your support you know you help make things like this happen and if you ain't subscribed you help make it happen by just watching and i appreciate you and uh i'll see you next time